Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be building the Mark 1 Iron Man from whenever he's flying out of the cave in the first movie. Uh, so the blocks you're going to need, start off with concrete, you're just going to need like the shades. So black, gray, light gray. For wool, you're just going to need black and gray. For terracotta. You're gonna need cyan, red, orange, yellow, black, and brown. Also gonna need stone. So you're gonna need stairs, the slabs, and just a regular stone. Next, sea lanterns. Also gonna need shulker boxes. You need black and gray. And then lastly, you're going to need glass, so you're going to use red, orange, yellow, and then we're also just going to get the panes while we're at it. And this is all the blocks, so you got terracotta, glass, wool, shoulder boxes, and then concrete, stone, sea lantern, and then the gray. So to go ahead and get started, I'm just going to build a... 8 by 12 so 8 and then just 12 up Let's see, I didn't count this at all Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this part doesn't really matter too much. You're not going to fill it in or anything. It's just like for a base. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just going to kind of use it as an outline. Firstly, I'm going to take the cyan... and come out a little bit so right here we're gonna do say six two three four five six you're gonna do six on this side and then down here just gonna fill this in come out two I'm gonna take the stairs and just go all around the little feet things. I like that. So like that, and then slabs on top. Gonna take the great or not the great concrete, the cyan. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the cyan, fill that in. And then gray shulker boxes on top of that. And then I need these to be facing outwards. So I'm just going to make a wall behind this. And do like that. So you should have something like this so far. Not too difficult. And then I need to put stone slabs on top of this. So you could just do like that. Or you could do it. I just did and like crouch and jump but whatever works and then stone behind this like that so that's what you have that's what you should have so far take the cyan fill this in and then you're gonna take gray wool on top of that And then we're going to take the light gray, do a row behind that, and then head out the two blocks here and here, place it with gray wool. So 
that. Two box here. And then we're gonna take the gray concrete box here and here. And we're gonna come behind here like that. Shulker boxes facing outwards again. And then just gonna fill the rest of this in with black concrete. Like that. And take the cyan, two blocks at the top. And then switch back to the wool. Two here, two here. Back to the cyan. Block here and block here. And then for the kind of chest area, gonna take the wool block here and here and kind of make like a V kind of like that or like a U maybe I don't know sign here here and then shulker boxes are gonna go here facing outwards I take the cyan do a row on top of that and then come beside the wool and just kind of make the cube. Like that. And then next, I'm going to take the black terracotta. I'm going to put black concrete right there and then kind of fill this in. I'm going to make a cube and then another block on top. Next. Blocks here with the cyan. I'm going to switch back to the gray concrete that and block in the middle switch back to the gray wool and then light gray concrete right here kind of like a V sea lanterns in the middle and then we don't really need the sea lanterns anymore switch back to the gray wool come out right here and then again above that, switch back to the cyan and just kind of make a U over this. And then we're going to make one more line like that. Block on either side. Block like that. That's what it should be looking like. All right, and then up here, gray shulker boxes as well. Again, facing outwards. So I'm just gonna put blocks behind these. So I can do that. Where are they at? Okay. So like that. That's pretty much the chest. Um, for the hard part of it. Right here, we're just going to fill this in with gray concrete. Just like that. And then this is also going to be black concrete. So that is basically the front done. Could move on to the arms, but I think I'm just going to switch to the legs because I don't know seems like the bigger chunk so back here I'm gonna take the gray concrete and make a kind of 8 by 12 I don't have to be too exact again just kind of like some kind of frame 
to build off of so it's not as confusing. Uh, that's about right. So once you have that done, uh, go down here, replace, or get your sign terracotta. Replace the bottom row. Like I said, replace the bottom row. Like that. Come outside of it and go up five. That. Gonna take the stone like that. Take the wool or gray wool. I guess just to specify, you know, since you have two wools. Um, and just fill the rest of this in. It doesn't matter too much. This is kind of just like the repulsor area. I try to think about you know how it looks whenever I'm building it and this part's not too specific uh, fill this in with the gray concrete just one row like that and I fill in the middle like that I get the black concrete block here block here and then we're gonna come out like that come out at the bottom on this one i do something similar. I'm gonna take the gray wool, fill this in. Switch back to the cyan terracotta and do kind of like a cube like that. So I'll give you a second to check yours versus mine. I'm gonna drink my lemonade. Lemonade's good. Um, no pulp, of course. So, or sugar either. But I'm gonna take the gray wool, get these two blocks out like that. Switch to the cyan, and we're gonna hit these two blocks out. Three above that on either side come out like that and then fill in to the right we're gonna bring out the red terracotta make kinda like an arrow except this is gonna be gray concrete right there Take the cyan, make another row. And then we're just gonna come behind this. Make three blocks. And then same thing on this side. That. I'm gonna take the gray concrete, fill the rest in. Make like a T shape on top of this, except leave the edges so we're gonna take the wool <gasps> where my wool go okay I'm gonna take the wool like that leave two spaces in the middle black concrete um, same thing on this side two in the middle I know I didn't do that right. There we go. And then two on this side. I take the yellow terracotta and place it here. I'm gonna take the cyan and do it there. Um, I'm gonna need that again. So stairs like that.
Maybe on this side. I actually can't tell if the black... I think the black concrete's coming outwards. It's dark, so the shadow doesn't really show, because that's how that works. So, stone right here and right here. Yellow, and then stone on top of it. These are, I guess, like canisters. I'm no scientist. I don't know. Gray concrete right there. Cyan right there. Gonna get rid of this and sugar boxes. Don't need them. Gonna put the browns and the black terracotta in here. I call them browns because it, like, that's not black. Maybe for clay. I don't know. But looks brown to me. It's just dark brown. Uh, brown terracotta right there and right there. And I'm gonna go up diagonally like that. I'm gonna take the wool. What could I have? Take the wool. Like that. Black terracotta right here. Switch to the brown, fill the rest in. And then one more row or a column. Excuse the terminology. And then I'm going to take cyan, place right there, black terracotta right here and right here, wool, black terracotta, bam. And then up top, we're just going to do gray concrete, or are we going to do something? No, gray concrete. And that's basically the back. Some of this stuff gets kind of filled in, like this here. So, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. That That is basically the back. I want to do the side of the legs. So that I don't, you know, mess everything up. Once I get to the arms. Like, if I put the arms in the wrong place, then it's going to mess up the legs. So, might as well do the legs first. I saw some comment. This guy said I was looking at a video of somebody building it and I was just like pausing the video I'm like homie I'm looking at my phone I, I'm like bro you don't know my my NASA type setup right here I got screens left and right I'm just kidding I have my phone in my screen and that's how I'm doing it it's gonna do three rows of cyan Staircase right here. Block right here. I'm gonna take the gray wool, make kind of like a V thing. Come in the middle with the black concrete. And then this is gonna come out, but this is actually gonna be gray. It's not like all this matters. It, like the, it, the basis premise is that it looks like Iron Man, but this is how I built the statue back whenever I. Built it. It's been a while since I actually built this, so some of it's kind of slipping my memory. But I do have pictures of it. So the black concrete is basically like I don't know how you describe it. It's kind of like a band going around his leg on like the left side of it so that's why it's like 3d anyways it comes out here I'm gonna fill this in with cyan concrete and then I'm actually I'm gonna make these light gray so I think it looks better And I'm going to fill the rest of this in with cyan. Yes. I'm actually going to fill this in with cyan too. I think it was just dark, so that's why it looks black. But I think it's cyan. And this should be where the arms start. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. Should be the same kind of thing. It's kind of hard to see because he does have like a flamethrower. But it does appear to be the same thing. 
I'm gonna do three wrong block. Three with a cyan. So you got a four by three. And a staircase kind of thing. And then like the V. And then come up. Cyan, cyan, cyan. Yeah. And then I'm going to come out with this. I'm going to do light gray right there. Right there. Come down with it. Then, then right there. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then in the middle. And fill this in with cyan, like that. And that's basically the legs. It's all kind of coming together. So I'm going to start on the arms, but I'll do it on the front. So this is the front, yes. So the arms start diagonal to this. I'm going to do a block right there. I can do black shulker box like that. I think I need the black wool finally. Okay. Switch to the black concrete. Block right there. Block like that. Go on top of it with the cyan. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Grab your other shulker boxes. The gray one. Again, facing out. So, like that. I'm going to take the gray wool and block there. Three blocks on top of it. And then stone's going to come out like that. Then I'm going to take the gray concrete. Fill this in. Take the cyan. Fill this in. Stone slab right there. And then I'm going to take the cyan, drag it over, down, fill that in. And that's almost done. I'm going to come down here. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And then for the side of it, I just kind of like drug this stuff back. So one, two, three. Like that. There we go. Oh, I'm cracking my back right now. Oh. I don't usually sit down in a chair for too long anymore. So my back is oh popping. <sighs> Sorry. Um for his flamethrower that he has. Build two here, and then kind of take this up over like that, and then just kind of fill it in, shove something like that. I take the 
black terracotta. Two there, two there, and then come above this. Like that. Gonna take the gray wool. Fill in. And then here is gonna be the flames. So I'm just gonna put this as a placeholder for right now. Come back to the flames. And on the side of this, gonna do four. Gonna come over two. And above that, come over three. that and then I'm gonna take the black concrete kind of fill in for the fist because he does have a fist on all this armor so that works next above this we're gonna take the gray I pull it over. Gonna need black right here. Knock this one out. Gray wool. Diagonal. What? So this is a mistake. Take these blocks out. Go back to the gray wool. Gray was actually supposed to go here. And then the black concrete. And then fill this in. Then I take the cyan, fill this in. And then come out two blocks with it. I'm going to take the stone and do kind of like a square there. Fill this in. And then here. Just gonna fill it in with black. So it's kind of similar on the other side, except you don't have a flamethrower. So I'll go ahead and build that. I'm just gonna check and see if it is black. Okay, so this this part, this block, is actually cyan. I don't know why I did that, but I tried to make it really accurate whenever I built it. So I'm just gonna trust myself. Look at the front of the other arm. Make sure you're on the front side whenever you're doing this one. Sometimes I'll build it reverse for no reason. So, right here, gonna need again the black wool and the black shoulder box. Like that. All right, so I I just place it up like that. Take the black wool, or not the black wool, the back concrete. Fill this in four like that. Cyan right here, column. Column on the other side. Switch to the gray concrete. Above like that, three, and then another three. I'm gonna do a pillar of the cyan right here. Three, come up and out like that. And then right here, I'm gonna do the gray shulker box right there gray wool right here like that gray wool up in the corner and then also gray wool right here I can't tell if this part's cyan or gray, so I'm just going to look through my 
pictures. Looks to be gray concrete. Yes. So gray concrete right here. One, two, three. This right here is going to be like a little dip. So leave that. Can come back for. Take this, bring it back. One out from this. We're gonna do another row. Gray concrete right there. Two. And then above this, one, two, three. Come back over here where the gray wool's at. I take the stone. And do a square right here. Gray concrete right there. Like that. And then in the middle here is actually gonna be gray wool, just to add contrast under it as well. Take this, bring it back, like that. That looks good. Almost got the arm done. We're gonna go back up to the top. I take the black concrete, fill in above the stone, like that. And then stone slab right here. Gray above, or not gray, cyan. Like that, fill in. Come move to the right side. And then just fill this in with like a four by three. Like that. It's pretty good. And then, you're gonna switch to the back side. If I can find a picture of it. So backside is pretty simple. I was gonna take this and bring everything back. Like that. I'm gonna take the cyan, then the gray. There's gonna be a gray shulker box here, but it's gonna be outwards. Like that. That works. Gray concrete above that, gray concrete above that. Back to the cyan. Three blocks here. Gray, fill this in. Then we're gonna go back to the black concrete and just do a row like that. Go back to the stone. Come out and do two blocks with like we did in the front. Take the cyan. Come up and over. And then fill the top in too. Black concrete. Kind of make like a angle right here. Cyan. Cyan. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do dark gray, so, because this is gray, that works. And that is basically the arm done on this side. We're going to do the shoulders and everything, but we'll do that when we get to the head. So then I'm going to do the, how you call it, I'm going to do the flames and everything coming out on this side. So, just gonna throw some of this stuff up here because we're mainly gonna need just the glass. I should put this with this. Yeah, okay. Well, now this is bugging me. So, I'm gonna start with the red because red's hot. 
Um, I think. You gotta do... Blocks all around it like that. Place one block there. Let's switch to the orange. Two right there. Two under. One on the other side. Like that. And then kind of come down. Diagonal. Like that. Switch to the yellow. Pull that in. And then this part is just kind of gets like freestyle. Just wherever you want it. It's not it's not too specific really. It's just whatever you think looks good. Like I don't have a set way I built this. I just thought about fire shooting out. And then we're just going to come in with a stained glass and put it around the edges. Just to make it seem more like fire shooting off. And then you can also make a gradient with this. So see how I'm putting some of the orange on the yellow? That's how you would make a gradient. Make it seem like the colors are transitioning into each other instead of just a very quick split. It's like that. Looks more gradiented. Um, I'm gonna throw some more orange in here like that. That's basically all for the flame. Now that I'm looking at it, the uh, the brown kind of looks too dark, so I'm gonna replace it with the brown terracotta instead of the black terracotta. Yeah. Looking at the front, everything looks good. So now. Gonna move on to the shoulders. So shoulders are pretty basic. It's gonna fill in this with the cyan and then do kind of like a plus symbol on top. Like that. Same thing on this side. There we go. Okay. So right here, only gonna come out one for the mask since the body is like right here. So we're only gonna come out one for the mask. The cyan go over to the other shulker box. We don't really need the glass anymore, so I'm just gonna throw that out. We are gonna need the gray concrete. The black wool and the black concrete so I take the black concrete this isn't what am I doing um there we go so you should have something like this I wait for you to correct that I'm gonna drink my lemonade again mmm That's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we're gonna do the eyes. Two here, two here. I thought about making like Tony Stark's eyes, you know, because it is just like a faceplate. He doesn't have the glowing eyes or anything. Um, I tried that. It looks weird. So you can do it if you want to. Maybe your preferences are different than mine. If you think it looks good, then you do it. But this is the way I'm gonna do mine. So, like that. So that's great concrete. And I use the wool for the outside of the eyes. I'm gonna bring this up like that. Switch back to the cyan. And I'm gonna do two rows on top. Like that. 
All right, and then I'm gonna move to the side of the mast. So the mast does have these like little spaces where it's open. So I'm going to put black there and then build around it like that. I'm gonna fill all this area in with the cyan. Like that. Get the gray wool back out. One, two, three. Yes. Get back to the gray concrete. Two blocks there. One block there. And then two like that. And then I'm going to go two back with the concrete. And then for the rest of the helmet, I'm just going to fill it in with the cyan. Like that. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. So like the little thing. Build around it. Fill all of it in. that just kind of copy what you see in front of you I'm trying to look for the back of the helmet Yeah, so this just kind of goes around because it's like riveted and stuff. But there is black going over that. Just so if you look down, you know. Um, I guess if you look up. But fill all this in with the cyan. Like that. That's not right. There we go. That. And then on the top, I'm just going to take the gray. Do it like that. And then wool in the middle. And that is pretty much the Iron Man statue. So, I did have this one built a while back. But, um, I just made it now because I was busy for a lot of months I was you know constantly doing something not really I probably had time to make it I just didn't do it because I was out of the groove I don't know I like building statues it just kind of takes some effort so I can't overload myself but I did get it done eventually like I said I hope you enjoyed it though I do think this is a pretty good statue um, one of my favorite ones it's almost as complex as Ultron, maybe. I don't know. Or the Sentinel. Or maybe Hulkbuster. That's pretty good. So, if you haven't checked those out, maybe go check them out if you're looking for some intricate statues. That'll take you multiple hours to build. But, I appreciate you watching. I don't really know when the next video will be. If you're expecting another one. I do like making them, so maybe it'll be soon, but I'm not guaranteeing anything anymore because I don't like guaranteeing stuff because it might not happen. But there'll probably be another statue video sometime. Um, It's the holidays, so maybe I'll make some Christmas statues. I don't know. Speaking of Christmas, look at my skin. I'm all festive. Got the Santa hat on and everything. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.